we are finding all sorts of things oh. here at the shop. Take a look at what these earrings. Now? Those are small oh, earrings. Oh, cool. Those are small earrings, he says. <laughs> they were created by the costume designer from Cirque du Soleil. There are some really, really interesting things here this morning, and I'm going to attempt to try them all on. <laughs> Allow me to introduce the owner here at Adore at Emma Inns. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Good. I, I walk by your shop every day when I'm walking my dog, Callie, and you've got your cute little pup, Java, here uh, yeah. in the corner. <laughs> I, I really don't think that her dog cares for mine too, too much, but either way, either way, we're trying to <laughs> make make a friendship there. So, okay, let's uh, talk a little bit about first uh, why you wanted to open the shop. Um, why I wanted to do it was yeah. I was living and working overseas, and I'm from here originally. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I came back with a whole bunch of stuff from Tibet that mm -hmm. I had I had designed with people there, um, and started as a vendor in the market, and then I eventually moved um, to a retail store. Mm -hmm. And when was your very first trip to Tibet? Um, my first time when I got a job there was 2003. And what were you doing? I was a tour guide um, <laughs> and I took people overland um, mm -hmm. on bikes, yaks, sheep, horses. Okay. <laughs> All right. And you fell in love. Yeah, I totally did. Yeah. So we were showing the host some of these puppets earlier in the <laughs> morning. Uh, where are they made? These are made um, in a village outside of Lhasa. Mm -hmm. um, and the ladies that make them own the sheep shear the sheep, make the wool, they do the whole process. Um, and they're all made by hand. So, so why did you want to, to bring the puppets over here to Canada to offer to people? Um, I think it's a great way for people here to learn about what the animals look like in Tibet. This mm -hmm. is, there's no tigers right now, but um, in the kind of mystical stories, mm -hmm. tigers are an important part, and I think it's, they're cute too. <laughs> So what is a Tibetan singing bowl? Tibetan singing bowl are used for meditation and for cleansing spaces. Okay. And the secret of them is putting them flat in your hand mm -hmm. and using the wand. Oh, oh. yeah, that, that works too. <laughs> that totally works too. And you just go around the outside, pushing a little bit of pressure and there you go, yeah. Yours sounds a bit better. It's I practice nice. a lot, though. I can imagine. <laughs> you just find Emmy here any, and on any given day practicing. So uh, we've only got about a minute left, but let's talk about this section of the store. This is all designed by a girl from Ottawa mm -hmm. um, who has an organic farm in India, and she's doing a farming program and a tailoring. So she's using some stuff like this. This is a recycled sari to create a one-of-a-kind dress. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're also using, we're making these kind of things that can be a dress, a skirt, a tunic, um, and this is also recycled saris. And what about the dress and uh, sweater that I have on? What you're wearing is, um, is like a new Canadian design, but we're using new materials, but they're all fair trade. So. That's really, really neat, Emma. Yeah. That's, that's really interesting. It's fun, yeah. So. We still haven't even showed you the other half of the store, which is all Canadian designers. Then we've got vintage in the back. So throughout the morning, we'll continue to play dress up and uh, take you on a tour of the shop.